Hete Poo, peace and blessings to all from Divine Peace Meditation and Yoga. This is Mami Imani, uh, just taking a quick Hete meditation moment. I was um, just about to close the blinds because my um, part of the earth is starting to turn away from the sun. So uh, within the next hour, it will be dark outside. But as I was about to uh, close the curtains here in the front and start turning on uh, lights in the house, um, anyone that really knows me knows that how much I love natural light. So uh, by 8 a.m., I am up and I have all the blinds open to let in as much natural light as possible. But around uh, by 5 o'clock um, in this fall, I am closing the curtains back so that I can turn on some artificial light. And I was standing here at our front windows about to close these curtains. And I took a look at my island plants. And it reminded me that um, there's a season for everything and I have to let go. And even though I am letting go, I'm letting these uh, discolored and uh, dying leaves fall into the uh, container and act as uh, mulch for the plants that are surviving. Because if you look here, there is new growth. Uh, pardon the uh, rainwater bottles in the shot, but uh, following this tendril here, this is all new growth. And the reason that I turned the camera on was because as I was rotating the container, um, which I do every two, three days, I noticed that uh, my pull cord, this tendril is branched out from here and started to wrap around uh, the cord to the blinds. And I just thought that that was so uh, hilarious, so joyful. <laughs> and I just had to turn the camera on. And if we look at Phil, Sekou's uh, philodendron that we have kept alive ever since um, Seniors Aging Gracefully program was at Lambert's Point Community Center they had a workshop for everyone to um, take home a potted plant. This bad boy that Seku named Phil was quite small. And now it is wrapped around its container at least twice. And I've just had to get this bunch of tendrils up off my rug before I end up stepping on it. So, that's what's doing. Let me pause here and get uh, my other two loves in the shot. Back in a bit. And we're back to give our um, two surviving aloe plants a chance. This is the baby that's been sitting by the dining room window. Time to water. I try to give them a, um, a little water in their um, tray for um, with the aloes, um, maybe once a week. I don't want to overwater. And then if we swing over here, yeah, mm -hmm. pride and joy. I have kept this baby alive. For over three years and if y'all know me <laughs> that's a record <laughs> so I am meditating on gratitude I am practicing uh, showing appreciation and I hope that you will also make your mindful Monday safe healthy and remember always that you are already blessed in abundance. We just have to act like it. Please give this video a like. Please share it with like-minded souls. 
And please consider subscribing to both our channels. Uh, shout out um, to Baba Seku. He has had some um, impacted ear earwax and it is giving him a time. We are trying all the natural remedies that we can think of. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's um, it, the name of the game is maintenance. Once we get them cleared, as soon as some cold air hits, um, <laughs> they're, they're back to clogging up. So we are um, trying to clear sinuses and we are also um, massaging uh, lymph nodes and, uh, and, and paying attention to the lymphatic system just in case there's a little bit of infection there. But please, please support our uh, journey uh, toward integral wellness, integral health, especially in BIPOC and other underserved communities. If you'd like to book a meditation yoga session to, to help us out, the email and the uh, links will be in the description box. Dua'u, many thanks. Meri'a, much love to all, and blessed be.